Newton Pitchfork. The singer's new lawsuit against the rapper and hip-hop mogul includes accusations of R, S trafficking, and years of physical violence. Diddy vehemently denies the allegations. And they were together. I think she met him when she was 19, guys, and uh, he was 37. Um, So just keep those things in mind as we're, you know, going along with the article. And reading what the article has to say. The R&B and pop singer Cassie is suing Sean Diddy Combs in federal court, accusing the rapper and hip-hop mogul of S abuse and physical abuse. The lawsuit filed in a New York federal court today and obtained by Pitchfork was first reported by the New York Times along with Diddy. Cassie named Epic, Rep- Epic Records, Bad Boys Entertainment, Bad Boy Records LLC, Combs Enterprises LLC, and 10 dope corporations as defendants. My goodness, I didn't know he had all these different businesses set up. In her lawsuit, Cassie, whose real name is Cassandra Elizabeth Ventura, says that she met Diddy in 2005 or 2006 when she was 19 years old and he was 37. Within months, in February 2006, Miss Ventura signed a 10-album deal with Mr. Combs' record label. The lawsuit reads, After signing her record label, Cassie contends that she was quickly thrust into the spotlight and was unfamiliar with how to navigate her new celebrity status, and that Mr. Combs' recognition and glorification of Ventura's naive um, being naive proved to set the groundwork for his manipulative and cohesive romantic and S relationship with Miss Ventura, a woman nearly two decades his junior. The lawsuit continues. Within a year of signing with Bad Boy Records, Mr. Combs became deeply entrenched in Miss Ventura's life, almost immediately asserting possession and control over her and asserting himself into all aspects of her career and her personal life. So he basically took total control of this young girl when he uh, signed her with his uh, label. The lawsuit cl- allegedly, the lawsuit claims that Diddy invited himself to Cassie's twenty first birthday party and at an after party in a hotel suit that he pulled her into a bathroom and forcibly kissed her without consent. By 2010, the lawsuit claims that Diddy was financially responsible for her housing, transportation, vacations, designer clothing, and more. All aspects of Ms. Ventura's life were controlled by either Mr. Combs or his management companies. It continues, according to the lawsuit that was filed. There are multiple allegations in the lawsuit claiming that Diddy provided her with drugs, Regarding one instance in the late 2007, the lawsuit claims that she felt she could not refuse Mr. Comb urging her to take more drugs. Cassie's attorneys claim in the lawsuit that Diddy was addicted to prescription painkillers and asserted that when Mr. Combs exhausted his supply of pills, he demanded Ms. V- that Ms. Ventura procure prescriptions from this Miami doctor in her own name. Another claim in the lawsuit is that Diddy had Cassie's medical records forwarded his email address, including an MRI she received due to memory loss. The memory loss the lawsuit asserts may have been the result of extensive drug use or due to head injuries caused by Diddy, guys. Oh my goodness. Cassie claims that multiple times each year, Diddy beat her and left bruises on her One alleged incident in January 2009 occurred when, according to the lawsuit, Diddy learned that Cassie had spoken to another music manager in an effort to grow her career. Diddy is accused of pulling her out of the club, in the car, and stomping her on her face. Oh, my goodness. She claims that the event left her terrified, isolated, and unable to see a pathway out of Mr. Cone's abusive hold on her. S trafficking is among the allegations listed in the lawsuit, which refers to claims that Diddy directed her to perform S acts with S workers at hotels around the country. Miss Ventura was given drugs, basically, uh, the C word, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, alcohol in excessive amounts during these occasions. The lawsuit notes she also accused them of filming these instances and uh, and occasionally of physically assaulting her. During a fallout with Combs in 2011, Cassie began a brief relationship with Kid Cudi. 
Oh, I remember him. The lawsuit claims that in February 2012, uh, Diddy told Cassie that he was going to blow mm, Kid Cuddy's car. Oh, my goodness. Cuddy's car exploded in his driveway around that time. Through a spokeswoman, Kid Cuddy collaborated Cassie's account to the New York Times. This is all true, he said. In 2016, she said she tried to leave a hotel room while Diddy slept and that he responded by chasing, yelling, and throwing glass vases at her. She claimed she was later contacted by Bad Boy Management and Sony Music, who said her single would be withheld if she didn't answer Diddy's call. She should have been like, okay, whatever, and been done with it. The lawsuit also outlines Cassie's claims that Diddy aired her in September 2018. Cassie claims in the lawsuit that Diddy's S abuse and physical abuse caused lifetime Form. Formerly, Cassie is suing Diddy for S trafficking, S assault, S battery, violating New York's gender motivated balance law, and more. When reached by Pitchfork representatives for Diddy, shared the following statement from the musician's attorney, Ben Brathman. Mr. Combs vehemently denies these offensive and outrageous allegations. For the past six months, Mr. Combs has been subject subjected excuse me subjected to Miss Ventura's persistent demand of thirty million dollars under the threat of writing a damaging book about the relationship, which was unequivocally rejected as blatant blackmail. Despite withdrawing her initial threat, Miss Ventura has now resorted to filing a lawsuit riddled with baseless and outrageous lies aiming to tarnish Mr. Cohn's reputation and seeking a payday. Cassie in a statement attached shared with pitch pitchfork goodness pitchfork um after years in silence and darkness i am finally ready to tell my story and to speak on behalf of myself for the benefit of other women who face b balance and abuse in their relationships with the expiration of the new york's adult survivors act fast approaching approaching it became clear that this is an opportunity to speak up about the trauma i have ex i have experienced and that i will be recovering from from the rest of my life one of cassie's attorneys douglas h big door added no human should have to endure what miss ventura has endured her ability and willingness to speak up against the abuse she suffered and seeking to hold accountable accountability or hold him accountable her abuser and those who enabled the abuse is testament to her strength resilience and resilience we are honored to represent this brave victim in her pursuit of justice in addition in response to brothman's statement wigvor or wigvor said mr combs offered miss ventura eight figures eight figures to silence her so he did offer some money then so is there some legitimacy to this um, and prevent the filing of the lawsuit. She rejected, rejected his efforts and she rejected his efforts and decided to give a voice to all women who suffered in silence. Bravo, Miss Ventura. Bravo, Cassie. Um, Miss Ventura should be applauded for her bravery. Yes, she definitely should be applauded for her bravery. And, um, you know, the article just goes on to talk about, um, rain national S assault hotline. If anybody's in crisis, then, uh, you know, please reach out to, like I said, rain national S assault hotline. But, um, I just want to say that, you know, congratulations to Miss Ventura Cassie, um, on her pursuit of receiving justice and more so calling attention to this very serious matter. Um, because these things do exist and, uh, you know, we still have to say alleged because, you know, has not went to trial or anything like that. But I just want to, you know, like I said, give Cassie a shout out and say congratulations to her for standing up. Um, it took a lot, I know, for her to come forward. Diddy's a very powerful individual and, um, uh, you know, I wish her the best and, uh, you know, we, we definitely support her right to speak out, speak up and speak out and make a change and therefore bringing other women, helping other women to have the courage to come forward and bring their, uh, accusers or their, um, how can I say this? They're, they're accusers to the forefront, basically. So with that being said, guys, let me know what y'all think in the comments about all of this. You know, Diddy is already under the watchful eye concerning the Tupac incident. 
uh oh and, and biggie excuse me i'm sorry tupac and then some people are saying biggie as well but um Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Let's Keep It Real. And I will certainly see you all soon with another video.